Yo, listen, no preparation, no pre-plan, just press record and I just record. That's that's how I'm going to do this one. We've got Quora and I haven't done Quora in two weeks and we're going to get right into it. I have, as you can see, I hit 500 responses. Like the last time I recorded this was when I had not reached 500 answers and we're well over 500 now. Hopefully on to 600, you know, inshallah. You know, pray, pray to God that I get, I get to five to, to six hundred. But let's let's see. How do I want to do this? Uh, let's see. You know what I may do? I may go back to December, like where I left off last time, and then pick up from there. Okay, so there's two things. Whereas as I was going down, I realized one, there's a lot of gems, like a lot of great questions, and I gave a lot of great answers. Number two, the problem is I forgot where. I left off last time and this is the this is the importance of making sure you pre-plan for a video which I have not done and what I'm going to do is I'm gonna, I'm going to start on this day the 21st of December and we're going to we're going to work on this day and if it turns out that I'm way I'm far off where I left off last time then I'll pick it back up in the next part so you know this I can salvage this I can I can so Let's start, let's start right here. I won't start on the first because there's so many gems, bro. Like there's so much stuff I want to go over because it's important to me and I feel like I can get that message across. First question, what's your dream work? One where I can contribute to the betterment of society in a way that shows my personality and passion. So basically what I'm doing right now. Right now, what I'm doing is helping me work in my, it's, it's my dream work, the stuff I'm doing now. It's like, it's not a job, it's a passion I'm pursuing, so it's it's a dream. I am trying to complete my daily goals, but I cannot. Why? This, this is as broad as ever. You don't know what's going on in his life or her life. But if I try and narrow it down, it can be your mindset, environment or routine. Any of those three in general can be a way to... to have a broad look at your problems in life and try find where it could be. Try looking at each one of these and self-evaluating yourself. So self-evaluation, awareness is so key. It's one of the most vital things in your life if you want to improve and person get into personal development. <laughs> and it's one of the key things for me in the past four years of my life. One key thing that stood out was self-awareness. Why is it important for leaders to share their vision and goals for the new year with their team? Great question. So that the entire team can be on the same page, discussing any differences and agreeing on key parts. And it's very important for the leader of a group to, to be very upfront and have clear communication with the team. Because when you think about, when you put yourself in the, in the perspective of, being part of a team and you have a leader you would want them to share their plans with the whole with everyone so everyone knows what the leader wants and the leader can find out what everyone wants too and you can come to better understanding because you know communication can it it breaks it stops so many miscommunications and misunderstandings and drama and it's all by just communicating with one another I am a third I am 32 years old I'm 32 years old person. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. You're going to put I am a 32 year old person. Okay? Not that it matters because my own grammar as you as you've seen my reading and my writing is not the best. <laughs> I've had so many mistakes. So I'm judging him. I should take a seat back. I should take a step back in judgment and look at myself for a minute. I, I worked only six months in my life. Even though I want to change myself to have a good life, I still prefer laziness and instant gratification. What can I do to change myself? Yes, okay. So this is similar to the question that we had answered a few weeks ago about someone asking why they should get a job as opposed to chilling at home. And what we had said was we you should analyze your responsibilities and be reasonable and take into consideration 
not just yourself but everyone around you that may res may rely on you financially Ask yourself why do you prefer the latter, and also show yourself. Also ask yourself why you want the why would you why you would want the former. Okay, so getting into a little bit of analyzing yourself, asking yourself questions that you're you're afraid to ask. In it, at the as honest as it can as I can get without beating around the bush, these questions are questions you can't be bothered and are afraid to ask yourself, because when you get down to the answer. You'll, you'll find out what kind of person you are. Circle the one reason or reasons that is that, that is that is that is more important to you. You cannot change unless you want it. And this is a lot less this is a less applicable answer than my previous one, but I think that one was on Reddit, so I can go more in depth. And I may I may could have gone more in depth with this one, but you need to just, in regards to the answer, you just need to be responsible is, is the best way to put it. Because you need to understand that are any is any person relying on you? And if you leave this, this job or your hunt for financial security, will you be stable? Will you have enough to, to sustain your life and the life of those around you? That's what you need to find out. How do I overcome self-defeat and behaviors? Would you tell me your journey of overcoming one? Positive affirmations help me with creating a positive outlook on myself, my abilities, my potential and my environment. And I love this because as as time keeps going on, it's a longer since I started. Like as time continues to go on, the more time I've been using positive affirmations and the more good things I have to say about it because every time you use them, it gives you a slight it's only like a, a nudge like a little ounce of difference but over time you i feel the difference when i look back at the man i was before versus the man i am now and the man i will be in the future and yeah positive affirmations it helps you attack it helps you defeat the internal problems and resistance you you create in your own mind how do i keep how do i keep myself calm while working hard work on adopting a good breathing pattern Great breathing techniques will help you will help you will help calm you down. And yeah, so like, you know, deep breathing and when I used when I was running, I learned this great technique of breathing in a pattern. So you would breathe in your nostrils twice and then breathe out your mouth twice. Or you'll breathe in your nostrils four times and out of your mouth four times. And that would help you get in the rhythm of what, while you're running and, and having a good breathing flow. Because you would try what I would do is I was taught to match my breathing with my steps and it helped me focus on breathing and running. So breathing techniques are so essential at and making sure you're calm mentally. Is revenge always a good idea in life? No, not always. Very brief. Is there an afterlife when your life is over? Yes, yes there is. Yes. How has your life changed in the past three years? I started to read a lot more. I worked out more made new connections with people, got a degree and tried out a few business ideas. Yeah, that's pretty a short summary, but not everything is not everything I I guess is included in that, but I, I guess it's it's a it's an aspect all, all things there are true. Why do I think so much and how do I stop it? Occupy yourself with action and you will think less and you will think about other things less. And that's key thing to overthinking is Reduce idle time, increase action, and increase actions that require more of your focus so you can so you can get out of that thinking rabbit hole. How do I stop overthinking or having scenarios while studying? Pick one thing to focus on wh whenever you start overthinking and use that to snap you back into studying again. Okay, yeah, so like, I remember when I was, when I used to go to the dentist and I had my teeth, I had my teeth pulled out before I got my braces and there was a picture, so you were lie, you were lying on the, on like the, on like you call it. Like, I don't, I don't guess it's like the, the, the like the chair that that goes backwards, that leans backwards, and you would look upwards, and they have a TV there, and the TV was a picture of an elephant, and the dentist will tell you whenever you feel pain, focus on the elephant, and it helps you kind of 
get get out of that um that feeling of pain when you're focusing on something else when your mind is occupied with something else you you tend to you tend to sh- sh- like move away all the other emotions and thoughts that occupy your mind there was another time where i was going from where was i going from and to i was going from georgia uh, from, yeah from georgia to to egypt and there was a kid that he reminded me of myself he was a black kid uh, and he was he was sat he was sat next to me on the, on the plane and as we were landing he reminded me of me because he was crying as we was land as the plane was landing well not me today but me when i was a kid and what i had told him was i gave him my watch and i told him look focus focus on the ticking of the watch because the watch made a tick and i told him let's just focus on the watch focus just have your mind on the ticking and just watch watch it let it take 100 percent of your focus and luckily enough you know thank god for, for, for that alhamdulillah that he actually stopped crying and as, as, those are two examples of when action and occupying your mind can take you away from thought, thought, thinking too much about one thing or, or having m- emotions filling up your mind. Let's see. How can I completely transform myself within a year? And we will end it here with this question and answer. Work on building a positive and growth centered mindset, exercise weekly work and or pursue hobbies that interest you and do the things that you love to do these can help improve things or at least have a difficult a different experience in life yeah it's very simple straightforward but as you take that broad advice and you apply it into your own life and mix it with other things that you see on that you observe you can you can make it something worthwhile and hopefully this person is is in the process of transforming his life this year you know and hopefully we all we all make some great improvements this year